Looking for something fun to watch? The KJ Today Show has you covered. We're bringing Hollywood to Indianapolis and positive vibes to our community. It's pop culture, people to know, and pets. Watch it happen live Wednesdays at 7 on YouTube or catch up on demand. Welcome to the KJ Today Show. We are bringing you the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. And we are powered by PopCon and the Town Post Network. So excited to have you along with us tonight. We've got two very special guests. And I know, uh, Jonna, at some point, I've just uh, I, I, I've decided it'll be the Jonna and Joe show. <laughs> she did not tell me about this. <laughs> uh, because... You and and Joe Arden, he was on he was on the book club. He was in the book club. Yes, yes it was so, a great time. I know that you guys have a a, a blossoming friendship we're, going there. We're basically best friends already, so and, it's totally fine. I'm just along for the ride. Yep, I'm yeah. just I'm just here for KJ's it. KJ's riding my coattails now. <laughs> <laughs> I, am. I am, man. Uh, you know, thirty years in media, and I'm finally gonna make it thanks to Jonna. <laughs> Uh, our other special guest tonight will be Dave Coulier from Full House. I love that that that's the special guest picture that you picked with us in it. I know. <laughs> well, you know, we I made him a graphic. <laughs> Oh, you did make it. I did make him a graphic. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know where his graphic went. Jonna. It's in there. Oh, it's right above his uh, clips in the thing. Oh, okay. So it's all, fine. Right. It's all right. Fine. All right. All right. All right. We'll get to the look at we're competing with graphics. Half of this show is Jada and I just like making graphics that are going to make each other laugh. So that's true. Uh, we're going to bring Joe in here because he is here live with us. Uh, thank you very much, Leanne. I see checking in from Texas crew number 10. So here's the deal, guys. Uh, the KJ Today Show, Shelly crew number five checking in. We are a community. And now that you're here, you're all producers, part of the community. So if you don't have have a crew number yet we want you to go to kjcrew.com that's kjcrew with a k.com uh we'll assign you a crew number it'll be like i don't know 200 and something and then when we do games like we have prizes to give away from like conquest journals and our sponsors we draw a number and it's like okay you know crew number 76 is winning this tonight so uh it's a fun way to be a part of the community and and keep up with what we have going so that is your mission tonight. I love seeing all the comments coming in. We love having everybody here with us. Again, like comment, interact. We are all about not talking to each other, but rather talking to you, please. Bill. All right. I hate talking to KJ. <laughs> we talk to each other so much. Literally every <laughs> single day, me and KJ are just talking to each other. Like, oh, I'm so glad it's showtime. I can talk to someone other than John. Yeah. I'm always talking to John. Always about. talking to me. All right, a couple of announcements. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like the beginning of the school day. We have announcements. Announcements! That's, oh my God, that was really loud. Sorry. <laughs> Attention. We have announcements. Announcements! Announcements. Announcements. Yes. Thank you, Jonna. You're welcome. Very excited uh, to tell you that our new episode of The Kind of Nerdy Girls is streaming now. Woo. So if you are into geek culture, you like Marvel, Harry Potter, uh, you like Hallmark movies, yes. uh, you like gaming. If, if you like listening to them talk about me because I like watching Christmas movies or whatever, you can listen to them. Oh, kind of we nerdy. really came down on They you ragged home. on me for like a <laughs> solid like 20 minutes. It's coming back to me. I forgot how like, much fun it was to make fun of you. Look, <laughs> I'm not going to be at the next In January when we do the kind of nerdy girls, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> Uh, is that your announcement? We have an announcement. Jonna quits. <laughs> Look, another announcement. Jonna quits. What is that? Parentheses again. <laughs> we need to have a, a chalkboard back here that just keeps track of the amount of times that Jonna quits the show. <laughs> 
It's getting, <laughs> it's never been so ridiculous at, until this year. <laughs> I know. Well, we've only been doing it two years. So. I know, but you know, I thought I was going to have to quit when Chris Evans married me, but you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, and the other announcement, if you uh, haven't been following along, uh, what's cooking with Patches and the Cats? The award-winning What's Cooking with Patches and the Cats, our official after show. My friends, we uh, we have more cats, so what? <laughs> very, very excited about all of the kitties that we have. So you will see Buffy and Giles, the new additions to our family. Yes, that takes us up to seven. That's uh, Buffy there. Uh, Giles has the mustache. I'm saying there like you're seeing me pointing like I'm a meteorologist. That's Buffy right there. <laughs> Dead. And Dead. they will be a part of the after show. So, I mean, I also got a new cat. Oh, that's right. Yes. I didn't have any pictures of your cat. I, I only post 500 pictures every single day of Admiral Atlas Angel. That's his name. He's a little gray cat. Him and Socks are best friends. Uh, thank you, Heather. She said Buffy and Giles. I love it. I wish I could take credit. They actually came from a, a, a litter that the foster mom was a big Buffy fan, and she named them. Uh, all of these names. And I mean, after seeing how cute they are, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, Buffy and Giles, are you kidding me? Uh, if you go back on the YouTube channel and uh, you join the, the listen along party for the Buffy verse series Slayers, we did a listen along party for the first episode. And it was great because I was like, it's going to be so boring to watch us listen to something. So I had her send me a bunch of footage. So like, there's just like, Buffy and Giles and Spike and Angel and Xander the kitties playing while we're listening to the episode. So it worked out great. And then I was like, okay, I need those kitties. Thank you. Um, okay. I, I'm sorry. I didn't hear any of that explanation. <laughs> I'm recovering. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, Shelly texted me. <laughs> so I was texting Shelly back. Okay. Is Shelly okay? Is everything okay? Yes. Shelly okay. is fine. Okay. She was telling me that Joe Arden has entered the YouTube uh, comment section. <laughs> oh, good. Good. So Joe's, a, well, he doesn't have anything to do because he's not on the show right now. Right. So he's talking to, uh, he's talking to his people. What's it called? The, the Attic? The Audio Attic. The Audio Attic. Yep. So those are Joe's fans. Like, we have the KJ crew. He mm -hmm. has the Audio Attic. Yes. And we're all just, like, coming together, guys. Best pals right here. Welcome to the family. We're excited to be a part of your family. Uh, someone get Joe some Zyrtec. I know he's not a fan of cats, which ah. is great. <laughs> it's going to make for some great conversation. Uh, actually, you know what? Do you want to bring Joe in before we do dumb jokes? I would love to. I bet Joe would like a good dumb joke. I bet he would as All well. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's uh, uh, let's bring our first guest in, Producer Patches, please. Uh, let's welcome Joe Arden to the show. Woo! It's time to get to know Joe. Hello. Thank you hey, so Joe. much for having me. <laughs> We're uh, super excited to have you here, and I I knew it was going to be exciting that we had our new kitten announcement, uh, and, and, and Jada was like, he does not like cats. <laughs> it was just so much cat conversation before I got here, and I was like, I may be at the wrong KJ Today show. <laughs> uh, listen, Joe, you're yeah. in the right spot, because I have heard that you are a fan of Garfield, correct? That is correct. I was going to say, I do have one cat love, and that cat love is Garfield. Okay. Do you know that Jim Davis is uh, from right here in Indiana? Garfield is an Indiana cat. Well, there we go. Then I there am, in go. fact, in the right place. You are. Are, are, <laughs> are you more like the Garfield or the lasagna? I'm into the way that Garfield views the world in this very sort of self-assured nihilistic way he knows what he loves yes. and he yes. is actually just committed to the idea that he does not care about anything else <laughs> yeah not even Odie, which i no. mean which is really sad nap uh -huh. look the kicking the Odie off the table is probably the hardest part of the show for me to watch That's right, right. <laughs> that really is that is the toughest spot but uh, he can give it to John all day because uh, that's like just the sort of that's like his love language uh, and his passion for sleeping and mm -hmm. his detestation for both spiders and Mondays uh, yes. are things that just speak to me in a fundamental way. So. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, that as well. 
For yeah. sure. Well, we have we have some of Joe's favorites, so we're going to uh, get to know Joe a little bit better as we go throughout the show. And uh, Shelly says, and Nermal. Yes, we all love Nermal, too. We love Nermal. Oh, man. Uh, so we're going to get to know Joe. We've got what's popping in pop culture coming up. Uh, but Joe, we always kick the show off because we want to make people laugh right away. Uh, Except for Patches. Producer Patches hates the segment, so we're we're glad you're here, and we hope that you enjoy our our, our segment. It is time, my friends, for dumb jokes. Dumb jokes. Uh, dumb jo- oh, dumb. Have you- oh yes, I forget. We have a a, a professional. <laughs> uh, yes. A professional voice. Yes, we do. Dumb jokes. Uh, dumb could you, jokes. Could, could you say that again, Joe? Dumb jokes. Ooh. All right, and now you can say it with a little a little more enthusiasm. This is d- 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 dumb jokes. <laughs> so we're going to be using that from now on for dumb jokes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we are oh gonna my god! Do this all night. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, I feel like I'm back in like radio in the late '90s. That's awesome. That's Thank you, favorite. Joe. Yeah, the, the 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 chat has pointed out that you guys did misspell jokes. It is J O E apostrophe K E S. So oh, get it right. Oh, get it right. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You had yeah. one. You had one sitting right there. It was right there. Up, Bob. <laughs> That's the that is the first uh, dumb joke. <laughs> That's right. We have traffic and weather together on the twenties, everyone. Oh, oh man, we're gonna have a a battle of the deep voices tonight between Patches and Joe. Oh, That's goodness. less work for me to do, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So we have we have three dumb <clears throat> jokes. These are submitted by the KJ crew. So if you don't like them, uh, blame them. Don't blame me and submit better jokes next week. Thank you. LOL. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Our mm. first joke is uh, is a, a holiday themed joke. Oh, holidays. Right. Are you excited those. about the holidays? So excited about All the right. Holidays. Here we go. Dumb joke. What did the wise men say after they offered up their gifts of gold and frankincense? I don't know, KJ. What did what what they say? But wait, there's myrrh. <laughs> <laughs> but <Ba-dum-bum. laughs> But no. wait, there's no. myrrh. See, no. we can't see Joe. Joe's in like Joe has his own you witness wanna, protection. You don't, <laughs> want, you don't want to see my face after that. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. So, all right. I think Joe's team patches on this one. No. So thank you. There is patches is a solo team. It is only patches on that team. Wait, Joe, look, this is my, what I live with every show. And look at my graphic with the wise men. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I didn't even notice the wise men. <laughs> You'll notice that only one of them is laughing in that graphic. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last guy's holding the myrrh, and he's like, "Oh, great! That's what <laughs> that, that's what I get." I get. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh god. All right. Don't worry, guys. If you don't like the dumb jokes, we only have two more. Here we go. Well, it was the uh, only thing they had left in the store because they were there on Christmas Eve. So uh, right. Uh, oh, oh boy, we got team patches. Here. We got okay. So in the comments, if you like the jokes, you you comment giggle. If you don't like the joke, you comment groan. Okay, so we'll see how many mm-hmm. giggles and groans we get here. I for can't dumb wait joke. for the next one. Let's go. Okay, Let's go. here we go. I'm ready. All right, dumb joke. What is a magician's? I think I spelled that wrong. I don't know. What is a magician's favorite dance move? You spelled it right. Okay, it, it looks like right? it looks wrong, but right? like, it looks that's correct. correct. All right, <clears throat> take, <laughs> take two. What is a magician's favorite dance move? I don't know. I was already laughing at the setup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jada. <laughs> the abracadabra. <laughs> you get it, Jada? The abracadabra. <laughs> that joke was brought to you by the year 2015. Oh, God. I know that. I tell the crew submits these. I can't help oh, it. Oh, man. I just have to do my best to deliver them. That was funny. Thank you, Doug. No, oh, no, no, it was not. That was Josh. hilarious, Patches. Okay. Look, no, man, we had it. A, we, I mean, like, oh, hang on. oh, that was the last. Hang on. We got a cat, a Santa, and a and a chicken. Dabbing. And a chicken. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And the yeah, cat has yeah. on sunglasses. So yeah, look, they're all dabbing. Yeah. I get it. Get it. Yeah. Okay. Look, if you yes. don't like the dumb Thank jokes, you. submit better ones next week. There, it, guys, look in the comments. You should be watching on YouTube because there are so many groans. <laughs> Thank okay. you. You guys right. are team patches. One more, and, and then I we're done. You. And then that we're one done. Gets and we're a do... groan. 
we got a grown. Okay. We now got see, one more. Pretty. Joe, I think you're going to like this one. Okay. <laughs> I actually, I picked this one for you. Specifically. Specifically for you. Okay. Here we go. Dumb joke. What did the corn chip say to the battery? Uh, I, I don't know. What? What? What did <laughs> That's such a weird. It's such a like. What this was, is a very strange dynamic, right? Like, in what, what scenario did, is a corn chip speaking to a battery? What did Thank the you. corn chip say to the battery? Is this like a double A or like a car? Okay. I'm free to lay if you're ever ready. Put up, Bob. Free to lay. Good. The God. corn chip. Oh no! Sorry. 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 <laughs> I'm free to lay. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm Ruffles if you're Duracell. <laughs> Thank you. That one's not connecting in my brain. I'm so sorry. But do you like my graphic? It's huh? cute. The corn... <laughs> I like that he has little maracas. <laughs> the, the corn chip that's ready to party with the batteries. I don't know, guys. I'm telling you. You submit the jokes. I just read them. If you want them to be better, try harder. That's me. Thank you. I don't like <laughs> That's like the first dumb joke that I haven't like cackled at. I, I, I know. I'm sorry. That was, I don't know. that Those two things weren't connecting in my brain. I was like, I don't understand what's happening. That's all right. That's all right, Jonna. It's all good. We got a small mm -hmm. giggle. Uh, Krista, how do we get a crew number? Uh, go to kjcrew.com. That's kjcrew with a K.com. I just you. posted it in the comments. Thank you. It's in the comments. Producer Patches has it on the screen. Uh, Joe, do you like uh, no, you like to goodness. keep up with pop culture? Uh, oh, not if you're going to quiz me. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's totally Thanks. fair. No, this is a this is a nice segment. We get to sit back and Jonna right. takes over and she she uh tells us everything that we need to know so we can sound like we're still kind of hip. It's really things that I care about in pop culture. It's like not anything that anybody else cares about. I'm here for that. that. If, I'm, if I'm being fair. All right. Here we go. Jonna, you ready? <laughs> Let's go. I, I'm I'm uncomfortable because you're usually laughing so hard at the dumb <laughs> jokes that we need to take a break. Do you want me do you want to tell me another dumb joke so I can like laugh really I hard? I don't have I any more. Joe, do you have a dumb joke? Uh yeah, okay. Here okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, so uh, two muffins are uh, sitting in a pan together in the uh, oven, and uh, the one muffin turns to the other one and says, uh, is it just me, or is it getting hot in here? And the other muffin says, oh, my God, a talking muffin. <laughs> My favorite jokes of all time. <laughs> Except we usually cuss, right? We're like, holy I did, I, these are these are family friendly muffins. So. <laughs> these are family friendly muffins. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we got John eleven. Now we can do uh, <laughs> our pop culture segment. It's time for what's popping in pop culture. P -p 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 Producer John, pop, 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 pop. Uh, do you want to do that read there, Joe? What's popping in pop? Pop, 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 in pop culture? Ooh. With executive producer Jonah. That's With nice. executive producer Jonah. Oh, Ooh. very nice. Very oh man, nice. I need that to be my ringtone. <laughs> How do I get that on my phone? Goodness. Answer right. me, executive producer, Jonna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you actually can get ringtones on my website. That's not a pitch mm. or anything, but <laughs> since you mentioned it. Okay. I know where my money's going next Friday. Get your Joe ringtone for your uh, favorite Joe fan this holiday season. Thank you. All right. Joe, Joe tones. We obviously call them. Anyway. Joe, sorry. Joe tones. Tell Everybody. me what's happening. What are, what are the kids up to? <laughs> Do you refer to yourself? Are you like, Joe doesn't like that? <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe's eating French fries. I try not to talk about myself whenever possible, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm, right. I'm sick. I, can't. <laughs> I would like to preface um, what's popping in pop culture by saying that um, I left my original what's popping in pop culture note sheet at home. So I had to like. Oh, so you're ad living? So I had to like. So read, this I, might not be accurate. Had, no, it's not. <laughs> It's accurate. It's just like it's not as detailed as the first one was. It's sitting on my coffee table right now at home. We don't need the details. Uh -huh. We need the headlines. Okay. All right. What do you got, Jada? All right. As of right now, it is confirmed that Ashanti and Nelly are expecting their first baby together. This is Ashanti's first child ever. Okay. Yes, she is 43 years old. Oh my goodness. And she is having Nelly's baby after 10 years of them being broken up and just now 
being confirmed earlier this fall that they are back together after 10 years. They're expecting a child. Together. Wow. Joe, it's her. Joe, you got any number kids? One. It, I was doing, that was a Nelly song reference. It's song. her. He does the song uh, number one. I am. Oh, yeah. Born. No. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Am number one. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I know that one. It's, All I would... You're the pop culture person. I know the you song. Brought Nelly up. You are the one. I who know. Mentioned okay, Nelly. look. I know the song is hot in here. I know the song Air Force Ones. I know the song Grills. That song's on my playlist. If I'm being honest. Oh, how's that one go? <laughs> go ahead, John. Don't make me. Come on, John. Just a little bit. <laughs> don't make me sing. Come on, in case Joe doesn't know it. Don't make me sing. Come on. Grills. Come on. Sing Grills. Just a little bit of Grills. Come on, one I line. Can't. You, I can't because I don't really know the chorus. Okay, let's hear it. How was this Shanti 43? I had no idea. She's 43, expecting her first out. We're going to move on past this. Uh, we the need song a daily... I'm referring to is I yep. am number one. I... Two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. Yeah, I am number one. Hey, A, 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 A. I don't know that one. That's... I'm going to need you to come back for every show and do song lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I am number one. John, uh, go ahead with it. I'm girls. not singing grills. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the end of the show, you're singing grills, damn it. <laughs> Why do I have to sing grills? It's so aggressive. <laughs> because you because you won't. So now I need you to. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Sorry. Oh, man. I all right. So as we all know, I've been watching The Golden Bachelor. Oh my God. No, and only you. Look, okay, there's other people watching The Golden Bachelor. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, Joe, are you watching The Golden Bachelor? Uh no, no, I'm not watching The Golden Bachelor. So anyway, like I said, this is pop culture <laughs> that only I care about. Nobody else cares about it. Um, the season finale was last week, and Gary picked the wrong person, in my personal opinion. He picks Teresa over Leslie, which I think is a trash, trash option. And they're having their live wedding January 4th. It's um, not real. It's not real, John. I don't care, KJ. I was so invested in this old man finding love, and he picked the wrong girl. Joe, can you help me with this? Can you help explain to Jada that reality <laughs> shows are not real? I know they're not real, but I felt it in my heart. The fun fact uh, about their wedding, actually, is that it is going to be officiated by Nelly. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. Think that's no, that's, that's probably not true. <laughs> Sounds false. It's probably going to be uh, officiated by that, what's his name? That Jesse guy who like comes in and is like, ladies, this is the final rose tonight. And um, he gets paid like a million dollars to say like know, one sentence. Like you were mad. He picked this. Mm -hmm. he, he picked this woman because mm -hmm. it's scripted to make you mad mm -hmm. so that you will watch The Golden Bachelorette. And I will. The woman that you wanted him to pick. I, I will absolutely. Because you wouldn't have watched The Golden Bachelorette with the woman you hated. That's why they scripted it that way. Wait, she gets her own show? The person yeah, who came in second gets they her have own an, show? An, that's usually how The Bachelor works. Usually the girl who doesn't get picked, she gets to be The Bachelorette. Wow. Yeah, that's how it works, Jeff. So you, you really win if you lose because you get your own show. So right? Nelly wrote the lyrics wrong. Is He <laughs> is number one. Two gets their own TV show, mm -hmm. and three nobody remembers. So that's correct. <laughs> hey, a a a a a. Look, all I'm saying is I'm just very upset that Gary picked Teresa. I know. Um, because I just didn't feel any chemistry between them. I just but... want you to grow as a person and move away from this trash that you're watching. KJ, look, you know I do not like watch reality TV. Like this was the first like reality TV show that I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch this because it's an old man finding love because his wife died. And I was like, he deserves to find his second chance at love. And then here he is picking the wrong chick. And he's from Indiana and he's not allowed to come back. <laughs> Did you feel better he now? He can move to New Jersey for all I care. <laughs> Do you feel better now? Yes. All right. Well, well let's pop, 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 pop it. <laughs> Randy Orton's back in the WWE, guys. Oh, boy. Pat Producer Patches is now paying attention. Oh, man. I'm so excited. He came back. Uh, no, this week, actually. He came back uh, last week at last Survivor week. Series. At yes. Survivor Series, he came yes. back and he signed on to be in. He's going from Raw to SmackDown after yep. being gone for a year and a half for a back injury. Mm. My boy is back. Joe, are yep. you a wrestling fan? Um, I don't keep up with wrestling, but I do appreciate the form. And mm. uh, I love this beautiful marriage of 
very sort of fantastical, imaginative storytelling and like super macho culture. I saw so that part of it, I think, is a, is a wonderful sort of American tradition. <laughs> yeah. The athleticism is is second to none, really, with some of these guys. Yeah. A hundred percent. And to uh, to curtail or not curtail uh, to uh, coattail Jana's Randy Orton announcement. CM Punk, Punk came back is to. back in the mm -hmm. WWE as yes. well. Oh yes. my! I'm yes. really only worried about personality. Randy. Yeah, it's like it's back. like, it's like sports meets way. theater for me, and so yeah. I'm into I'm into that in a major way. Yeah. yeah when uh, KJ for all that are tuning in, uh, myself and KJ are actually married. When <gasps> we first, oh, I know, what? right? Uh, when Here, we I first you guys started were living in sin the whole time. I yeah, well, um, <laughs> there's always sin. Um, <laughs> a lot in this house. You're welcome. Anyways, just... as I digress, um, but I took her to a WWE live event once, <sighs> and she was like, "What the hell am I doing here?" And she saw the yeah. interaction that she that the that all the performers had with the fans and everything else, and she was hooked. Well, it's just such a, I mean, the, the entertainment value that they provide, the the production. I mean, everything that they do is fantastic. I don't, yes. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's scripted. I know it's scripted, Jana. Yeah. I'm not pretending that it's not, Jana. So's, <laughs> so's days of our lives, why but guess what? That, we still watch it. No way. Why is it that we have two shows together and you're just always coming at me? I don't know. I just don't understand. <laughs> All I do is love you and help you. I've been just. Being your producer for like 10 years now. I do love you. But what fun would the show be if there wasn't a little friction between us, Jonna? Be uh, boring. Would it be boring? Yeah, call me out on some stuff. I'm getting tired of you just liking me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll try and be better about All not right. liking you. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'll work on it. <laughs> coming up next, we are going to get to know Joe. Woo! Yeah. We also have uh, Dave Coulier coming up. We're going to turn it over to Patches for just a moment. Uh, because what's popping in pop culture is brought to you by Conquest Journal. Oh. Thank you, KJ, because what's popping in pop culture is powered by the aforementioned Conquest Journal's officially licensed fan art for Harry Paul, uh, Supernatural, Friends, Shits Creek, and more. Make the Harry Potter lovers on your list. Happy with the gift of the 2024 Herbology Planner, Pencil Pouch, and Tote Bag. Or get the book lover in your life, the Waiting for the Night Reading Journal. So many unique gifts, all on sale, plus save 10% when you use promo code KJTODAY at Conquest Journal. Dot com. Man, I love that journal. Oh, oh man, that yeah. is my favorite thing. Look, and since we have a bunch of readers here, I know, like it's in the right chat, here, sparkling, and it's, so it's got a cute little pencil pouch too. Oh, I know. Look at the pencil pouch. Has oh, Joe, the pencil Joe, pouch a cat has on a cat. It. It's got a cat, Joe. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but that cat's reading, so I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> he only likes cats that read. Yeah, it's That's fantastic. I love this stuff. And I, I mean, like, I've got it all over my desk. So yeah. I'm, I'm uh I I'm I'm just I don't just talk about conquest journals on TV. I'm also a client. <laughs> Patches also works there. <laughs> yes, I, I am. I am also the director of operations for that company. Yes. I, I we may, also know the lady who owns it. I may be getting things at a discount. <laughs> Me too. But you can too with promo code KJ today. I got my waiting for the night journal first, and I sobbed. I when know. Patches handed that to me. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing. And the great thing I've with the pencil pouch is that you're going to want colored pencils because there's so it's many true. things you could like. This is like not only a journal, but because it's got such beautiful pages in it. And I'm not saying this like to like make you go get it, but it's got such beautiful pages you can color in it too. Yeah. Um, all right. That's all I'm going to say about that. My friends, go to conquestjournal.com. Let's get to know Joe. Joe. I'll say it again, Janet. Let's get to know. 
Joe! Yay! Yay! Joe Arden is on the show, friend of Jonna, and I'm just going to let you take it away, Jonna. What am I supposed to do? Well, you know Joe. I do know Joe? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Didn't you guys talk about, you know, some restaurants you're going to hit we, up together? We did. We did. Okay. That would require Joe to come to Indiana. Okay. So, like, that's one thing that has to happen. Or we can meet up in a state where there's a Cracker Barrel. Oh, do you like Cracker Barrel, Joe? He had um, never been to a Cracker Barrel before. I mean, I, I was, I, it was, uh, that happened, you know, when I was an adult, I had never, I grew up in Los Angeles. There are no, as far as I know, there are no Cracker Barrels in Southern California. So, oh, uh, yeah. at least not the LA metro area. So, <clears throat> uh, so that's why, uh, I have a list of your favorite things. So that's why, uh, in and out, uh, double, double is, it is a favorite food of yours. Well, I wouldn't need to be from Los Angeles to know objectively that the in and out double, double is the finest food for value in the country. Never had it. <laughs> you haven't had in and out. No, I've never had in and out before. Oh my gosh. It is Sorry. like when we go to the West coast, it's like, it doesn't even matter. We'll go out for a, a comic con or something. It's like, Oh, well, the nearest in and out burger is, 60 minutes away and i'm like well that's closer than it is in indiana well, so let's go i've never been to the west coast okay so. all right so. in and out might be the reason alone to to make the trip it really is it's a phenomenal it's a phenomenal cheeseburger so. look joe if i come out there to go to in and out are you gonna go with me sure okay bet <laughs> you do, here's the thing if you go in southern california you want to go with somebody um that knows some of the in and outs always have crazy lines that are, for example, there are two in and outs right by LAX. One of them on Sepulveda has a line that is like an hour and a half long, 24 seven. You can never get through that one. However, if you leave the airport and go in the other direction um, on Lincoln, there's another one that's like two minutes away and there's never anybody at that in and out. So <laughs> this is really what you need. Also, um, in and out only has three things on the actual menu. And a lot of people order uh, basically secret menu items. So like ordering a double double animal style means that the uh, burger will come with grilled onions and pickles and not just raw onions. And it is truly the way to get the burger. So or if you have any sort of gluten issue, you can order protein style and then it comes wrapped in lettuce instead of on the bread. Um, I could go on. KJ <laughs> <laughs> Today Show brought to you by In and Out Burger. Burger. You can't get it in Indiana. <laughs> I think you're going to be able to get it in Tennessee soon. So. Ooh, okay. Okay. We had a, you know, Joe, we had a, a, a rip off version here. It was called a uh, 96 street burger for a while. And literally okay. it was a complete rip off. And they didn't last very long because I think In and Out Burger was on to them. Uh, but I was like, don't tell anybody. But if you go to 96 Street Burger, you can order the secret menu for In and Out. <laughs> <laughs> so we tried once. We had like a bootleg In and Out Burger mm -hmm. going here. Uh, some of Joe's other favorites. Let's talk about the holidays. Uh, so the first thing you listed when we asked you for holiday uh, classics was the Muppets Christmas Carol. Favorite? That's correct. Favorite? That is. That's my favorite everything. That's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite story surrounding the holidays. It is without question the best adaptation of uh, the Dickens story. It is the best Muppets movie. It is one of the best movies. Uh, it is it is perfect entertainment and it should be viewed uh, annually. Uh, that is my recommendation to everybody. Uh, it's it's better than the book. Like it's it's better than the book. You've got I, Michael Caine being unbelievably yes. full, full throttle Michael Caine. He is the most Michael Caine of all of his. He's so close to just like, you'll <laughs> never find another Batman. He's like, that. he's there, Michael Caine. But he's doing that. And instead of talking to a very earnest and very serious Batman, he's talking to Muppets. Mm -hmm. It is perfect. It's so, Jada. Have you seen it? <laughs> yes, you made me watch it last year. Oh, that's right. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you made me watch it last year. He has a, the first scene. He insists to Kermit and the rats that they need to come in on Christmas, and he seems so mad at these Muppets. And there's Kermit very quietly saying, "Could we please? It's Christmas, sir. Could we have the day off? Half the day." And he's just, he's just in it. He's just in it. <laughs> It's a poor excuse to pick my pocket every December 25th. Like, okay, Michael Caine. I don't know. Yes, everyone get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it, it is a, a classic. And now I'm like, yeah, I did make you watch it last year. Yeah. 
She was like, Kenji's like, I'm going to watch The Muppets Christmas Girl. I was like, I've never seen that before. She was like, oh my God, well, we yeah. got to watch it. And honestly, I, you know, when I watched it, uh, revisited it, it uh, as a grown adult, uh, I, I cried the first time I watched it as an adult because it has, I mean, it's got the emotion, man. Mm-hmm. Really? And you are like, you feel really bad for those Muppets. <laughs> Yep. You gotta have the Christmas spirit. All right, I Joe. Not, I will not bury another Batman. <laughs> I will not bury another Scrooge. <laughs> the, uh, the Marley and Marley come out, and it's the it's the it's the guys that do the the, the and they're just like they get the chains. Oh, the guys that, that, yeah, yeah, that do all of the uh, mocking. Oh yeah, ah, yes, so good. Maybe you're a bit of undigested beef. Should we just do every part that I remember from Muppets Christmas? Would you please go ahead, take it away? It's the John and Joe show now. Joe, you have the, you have the floor. Go ahead. All right, lights come up on a, a Victorian town in England, and penguins are skating across. All right. I was in it, man. I was there. There I goes Mister the Humbug. There goes Mister Grinch. All right. <laughs> I think we need to do a watch along party for the Muppets Christmas Carol. Okay. Statler and Waldorf. They're the, they're the, uh, is that their names? They're Marley and Marley. Yeah. I don't think I've they're ever Marley done and Marley. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, and you, br- you brought up Batman. I know the dark Knight is one of your, uh, favorite films. Yeah. Uh, it, Jada yeah. hates Batman. I do. She I'm 100 percent behind you on this, Joe. <laughs> I do, in fact, hate Batman. Why, Dark Knight was one of the best. You, why do you hate? What could you possibly have against a philanthropic billionaire who has committed his life to justice and the safety of of innocent citizens of Gotham? Look, Joe, I'm going to tell you right now. I also have a dead dad, and you don't see me running around in a cape and tights, killing people. He doesn't kill for people. vengeance. Yes, he does. No, he does not. The, he's, he's also super overrated. He doesn't kill people. He's super he's got, overrated. First of all, he's the only superhero that does not have a superpower, uh, unless deep, deep pockets counts, which, of course, mm-hmm. it, we that could have a whole conversation count. about that. Yeah, but he's using True. his money for good. <laughs> he sees injustice happening. If and he's, he's doing so well, why do we have so many different versions of him? He's taken the sadness that has been with him since childhood and turned it toward making a positive impact on his community. It is literally the mission statement of this show. How you can espouse pop culture and positivity and puppies and not Batman. <laughs> I forgot the third P. I couldn't remember what it was. I was on a roll and I didn't want to stop. They're good, man. Positive vibes. You got it. Positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> and say that this man who was orphaned and has given his life to making sure that other kids don't feel that pain and sorrow. Uh, I think you missed the mark here, John. That's I don't I don't think that's true because it doesn't matter. Those kids' parents are going to die. So it doesn't really matter. He's not wow. saving them from you anything. Got, that was dark. This I'm is, just saying. We're all like, going to die. We all are going to die. Saving this episode, what? This episode okay. was directed by Christopher Nolan. Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's better than Zack Snyder. I can damn guarantee okay. you that. Anything is better than Zack Snyder, okay? Word. <laughs> Literally the worst movie I've ever seen is better than Zack Snyder. <laughs> I was so excited when Joe said his favorite's over that we were going to get to talk about Batman Look. with you, John. Oh. I know, I saw that. I was like, oh, no. So, oh, Joe, no. I, I do I do have to ask, though, uh, were, you, were you, like myself growing up, an Adam West Batman fan? Uh, Patches, that is a little before my time. Mm. Ah, that's fair. Well, <laughs> I mean, not I do know what you're talking old. about, but uh, <laughs> Grandpa Patches, Papa Patches over here. <laughs> yeah, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> you are a Papa Patches. What are you talking about? You am, are. Yeah, Patches, I'm... do you know what I heard? I heard before there was TV, they they wrote these characters down in something they called the comic books. <laughs> no, yeah, that's wild. They told the stories on pages with pictures oh, and man. words and boxes. <laughs> no, uh, can you get that? Is there is there an app for that one now? Or there is now, like, actually. It, yes, I think. Oh, there okay, are. okay. There are comic book apps. <laughs> there are no comic book apps. <laughs> I had one before. There are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I subscribed to the Marvel, the Marvel one for a the while. Marvel one, huh? The Marvel one. <laughs> is that, is if, that... you can, if you can't afford Marvel, just go look for Marvel. It's a knockoff one. <laughs> What's knockoff Captain America? <laughs> Captain United States? <laughs> General USA? General USA. 
it. <laughs> All right. Commander of the 13 Listen. continents or 13 what colonies, whatever. Crap. 13 continents. Never shut up. <laughs> I I lost it there. Amazing. Shut up. All right, guys. We need to play uh, our trivia game. <laughs> Joe's gonna host it tonight. Uh yes, John. I know that you've been putting it off. I don't want to play Don't Screw the Crew. I'm sorry. We we gotta play two rounds of Don't Screw the Crew tonight. Mm. Thank you, Sir Dave. Patrick grew up in black and white. Yes, he did. <laughs> Oh, man, I love this show. All right, so we're going to play this, this little game called Don't Screw yeah, the, the Crew. Yeah. Oh, my friends, if you are a member of the KJ Crew, you can win fabulous so prizes. Uh, tonight's prizes, by the way, are local to Indianapolis, but we uh, we have prizes all the time that are you know stuff from Conquest Journals and things we can ship out to you. So uh, if you sign up for the KJ Crew and you're not local, that doesn't mean that you can't win fabulous prizes. You can. Uh, tonight for our first round of Don't Screw the Crew, we have got tickets to the Indianapolis Christmas Carnival. I'm go to that. Nice. Tickets are on sale now, and we are playing for Rachel. I love her. Crew number 28 to go to the Indianapolis Christmas Carol. Christmas Carnival. Carnival. Sorry, I'm still thinking about the Muppets. Uh, if we don't screw the crew. Ah, yeah. All right. Here's how this works, guys. Joe is going to host tonight. Uh, as usual, producer Jonna and producer Patches are going to have to do their best to get the trivia questions right. Round one will just be like round two. We've got to get two out of three right. These are pop culture questions. Jesus. And we are going to begin tonight with producer Jonna. Oh, God. Oh, All right. No. All right. Oh, no. Question number one. You ready, Joe? I did uh, just want to tell you really quickly, I have a game show host alter ego. So um, this portion of the uh, event this evening will be hosted by Richard Sizemore. Uh, <laughs> Richard Sizemore, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all so much for having me. Uh, it is time to... Avoid screwing the crew, and here we go. <laughs> right, the yeah. first question is for you, uh, Ms. Jonna. The category is Hollywood sp Holiday Special. Holiday oh, Special. Oh, no. Put your thinking cap on oh, and answer this question. Oh, no. What is the name of the dog in How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Max, I just watched wow! The Grinch the other day. Oh, nice! Donna, there bonus is. points wow. for the speed of that answer. Max is correct. <laughs> and the pressure is on patches to, uh -oh. I assume, get this right or potentially lose in two questions. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you. Because no undue pressure now. Thanks. It's all right. <laughs> Producer Patches, your category is music. No. Shh. Crap. <laughs> Don't worry, the question relates to a group from the 1980s right in your wheelhouse. <laughs> hey, easy, bro. <laughs> Producer Patches, what 80s group sang the original hit classic, Last Christmas? That would be, as Deadpool would say, wham. Yeah! yeah! Deadpool, or what? perhaps your Batman of choice, Adam West. <laughs> yes, yes. Pow, let's go. Smack. Wham, Wham is Wham. correct. And we are on to sudden death. I'm Richard Sizemore. I'm going to turn it over to KJ to explain how the last question works. Oh, Ooh. well, we don't need the last question because uh, if we get two out of three, we're good. Do oh, we want to go? They did the it. We did it. We, we got did a winner. It. Oh, hang I'll, on. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will yes. throw in a pack of the brand new Butterbeer decals from Conquest Journals Ooh. to Rachel. If Not we can get the third Christmas question right. Like I just want you to know, Patches, that when Joe asked that question, I was like, if Patches gets this wrong, I know KJ is serving him with divorce papers tomorrow. I know. <laughs> like <laughs> You're not wrong. I you knew that for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> we played Lamb last Christmas at my birthday party. That's in true. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> okay, so uh, final question. Uh, we'll go back to our, our game show host tonight, Richard Sizemore. Thank you so much uh, for remembering my name, KJ. Richard Sizemore <laughs> is away, back. Dick. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, in the take, booth. Take it, take it, can I call you, Dick? Take you it away, can... Dick. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's your show. You can call me. You can call me whatever you think is appropriate, KJ. 
All right. Our third well, and final question. If either Jonna or producer Patches can answer this one, we are going to throw in a bonus pack of butterbeer stickers from the Conquest Journal, folks. The category is movies, and this is the question. What does Clark Griswold hope to buy with his big Christmas bonus in National Lampoon's uh, pool. Christmas? Uh, pool. Wait uh, until pool. I finish reading the question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dick. Sorry, Dick. If this... My bad. Was any game show ever played, you would be forcibly removed from the stage <laughs> and be asked never to return to Burbank. Well, it's, not, it's not Jeopardy. Like, you know, the clickers don't really work. You right? have, you've been frozen out. Jonna is answering on behalf of the other person. She also got it right. The answer is a pool. Great job. Somebody get some stickers. Woo! Oh, yeah. We got to play our. our no, don't yeah. play. No, Jonna. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Way to embarrass me in front of my new best friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Congratulations to Rachel, who is here. going to the Indianapolis Christmas Carnival, courtesy of the KJ Today Show. Are you guys are you ready for another round? I mean, I mean, we only ever do one of these. I'm just... I know, but well, we got two for tonight. here. We got two tonight because I've got uh, more prizes. That is you weren't you wasn't listening. You weren't I don't, patches? I have you guys on semi-permanent mute, so. Okay. That's relatable, All honestly. Right. So. Well, we've got Pam. <laughs> Pam I is, also have me on semi-permanent mute. So. Word. Uh, Pam wants to win some Cirque Dreams holidays. I want to go to that, too. Cirque Ooh, du Soleil, right? All right. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Fancy. So we got we to gotta, we gotta play another round. You we guys can't ready? can't screw Pam. Don't screw Pam. It's rude. Thank All you. All righty. All right, we're going to turn it back over to our special game show guest host tonight, Richard Sizemore. Go ahead, Richard, take it Thank away. Thank you, KJ. Thrilled to be back here. That was a rousing first round. I'm going to throw this first question over to the music master, Patches. Uh, music is the category again. Uh, this one is also a pretty old pop culture reference, so here we go. David Lee Roth, Paul Newman, Goldie Hawn, and Harrison Ford are all mentioned in what famous holiday song? The Hanukkah song by that is... Mr. Adam Sandler. Patches yeah. is in the building, everybody. Woo! <laughs> all right. Yeah. I'm glad he asked Patches that question and not me, because I would have got that wrong. You wouldn't have known the Hanukkah song? Nope. You love Adam Sandler. I do, in fact, love Adam Sandler, but I don't know the Hanukkah song. And fun anymore. fact, that's one of Joe's favorite holiday classics. I saw that song. on, on oh the list. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If Joe yeah. was here, we're here right now with Just Richard. Like OJ yes. uh, he yes. talked to me backstage, and he did say. He, in fact, he was listening to that song as I was as I was coming out. Really, really he's he listens to it all the time. <laughs> all right, for a clean sweep, <laughs> for Pam to get her Cirque Dreams holidays tickets. Uh, question number two, Jonna, we are coming back to you with a holiday question that, as it happens, is also animal related, which may be your wheelhouse. Let's see if you can answer. Oh God! For the Cirque Dreams of that one listener mm -hmm. that we mentioned, mm -hmm. what is the name <laughs> of the doe that Rudolph likes? In Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Jonna. Oh no. Jonna. Oh, no. oh no. Jonna, I will give you this clue. If he was going to take her out, he might be interested in getting her a side of fava beans. <laughs> I was exactly Joe. You and I had to be best friends. I was exactly. On, the clue I, was I don't know. I want to say her name starts with like a C. It yes, does. yes. like C. Clara or something. Come You're on. close. You're close. You're very close. Clarice. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> No, a deer, a female deer named Clarice. Clarice. <laughs> All right. Are we going to, uh, Patches, do you have some more butterbeer stickers from uh, I, decals from Conquest Journal? You know what? I think I could probably part with one more pack of uh, oh, butterbeer uh, decals. Well, that's great uh, because, Patches, this last question also comes from the days of American folk your <laughs> It is an old holiday tradition. Who was the longtime running host of New Year's Rock and Eve before that young whippersnapper Ryan Seacrest took over the job? I believe that's your namesake there, Mr. Dick, but last name Clark. 
Richard Clark is the correct yeah! answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's some more stickers that she can Yay! take with her journal to That's Cirque du Soleil. All right. Yeah. So congratulations to Pam going to Cirque du Soleil. We're so excited about this. Uh, and so can, can we give it up for Richard yes. Sizemore? What a, what a guy that dick is. Yeah, what a, what a guy that dick is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I, I can't yeah. wait to go to sleep later. <laughs> <laughs> Jada's always stressed in this show, but this has been extremely stressful for her. I'm All loving right. every second of this for the, the good news is coming up next, uh my interview with Dave Coulier. We have some highlights for you from from Full House. Uh, uh, we're going to let, uh, Richard Sizemore go ahead and uh, get back to uh, whatever other things he does besides uh, hosting game shows. And we're going to get Joe Arden back in here, uh, in just a moment. And Dave Coulier is coming up next. Uh, let's just take a quick break Please. because we want to remind you that PopCon is coming. Oh, well, Hey there, cow folks. How y'all doing? Roger Clark here, a.k.a. Arthur Morgan from Red Dead 2. But I can't wait to see you again in Indianapolis, because we're coming back. Hey, Indianapolis. I'm so excited to be coming back to PopCon. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to party with you there. Catch you later, then. Um, Bro, dude, you, me. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Uh, also announced PopCon Louisville will be happening in August uh, at the Kentucky International Convention Center. Cool, cool, cool. So but get ready PCO? for... Uh, for all of the fun of PopCon. All right, uh, Joe, are you hanging with us while we uh, it, 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 while we give you guys some highlights of our Dave Coulier conversation, and then we can, you know, chit chat some am, more? Uh, I am here. I just want to clarify that uh, I am not going to be speaking with Dave Coulier today. Is that is that correct? Is that an assumption? <laughs> I'm sorry, or, you know, no. I'm Look, Joe, you, you you're upset. I'm upset because KJ was like, "I'm going to talk to Dave Coulier," and I was like, I, "Was I not invited to talk to Dave Coulier? Because I would also like to talk to him." I have well, I have one thing to say about that, and then you can get into your clips. Go ahead. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I had to uh, I had to take my call with Dave Coulier on his time, and he was like, "No, I'm not interested in talking to you at seven o'clock at night on a Wednesday." Nope. <laughs> So uh, here we go. The reason that uh, uh, Dave came on the show is because he actually has his own podcast now. It's actually pretty good. It, he's he so he's watching. A lot of celebrities have started doing this, right? Mm -hmm. They're like going back and watching their own show because they never watched it when they were on. Uh, I'll let Dave explain it. Take it away. Here's Dave Coolio on KJ today. Yeah, it might sound a little bit weird, but I never watched Full House, so this is a trip down memory lane for me too, and. I'll tell you, I've actually made myself laugh a few times. I don't know how weird that sounds, but I've cracked up a few times. And it's wonderful to be able to give this back to our Full House fans. And I wanted to do something that was different from a podcast. So mm -hmm. I created a television show. So this is a TV show that you can listen to, but you'll have 10 times more fun watching the show. I brought back Mr. Woodchuck. He's America's favorite puppet. And we brought back Comet the dog as a puppet. And then as an homage to my brother, Bob Saget, we created a new character named Granny Tanner. And so she's a hipster granny that lives somewhere outside our studio. But we've got a little full house set. We've got in-studio guests and we read the Full House tear-jerking scene from that episode together, and there's so much visual eye candy to the show that I'm really encouraging. I gotta say, you know, I was like, listen, man, I'm also doing a podcast that's a TV show, okay, Dave? <laughs> Oh yeah, I cut that. I cut that part out of it. I was like, I was like, ah, oh, KJ, we know. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> we know. 
<laughs> uh, Elizabeth says, I totally forgot about Mr. Woodchuck. How could you forget? Joe, did you remember Mr. Woodchuck? Uh, yeah, there was a, we put him on his hand and he would do the voice when he did the Woodchuck. <laughs> <clears throat> And then he would just do wood. He would have been perfect for the dumb <laughs> joke portion wrong. of the show. He was, he You're just, not wrong. He just okay. punned the word wood all the time. He's like, Are you wood. <laughs> uh, one of the things that uh, we we talk about and John gives me a hard time, but he gave me the opening. I, d I talked to our guests a lot. People don't know a lot about Indianapolis, but everybody knows the Indy 500. So oh, yeah, it, it yeah. comes up a lot. So John had texted me when she was editing this interview. And she's like, why are you always telling all the celebrities they need to go to the Indy 500? To be fair, every time you tell a celebrity that and I'm editing the interview, I text you that. Every time. <laughs> she's like, you should come to the Indy 500. I'm like, why are you always telling people to come here when it's hot? Because it's fun. Okay. All right. Here's Dave Cooley. <laughs> I used okay. to um, play a club in Indianapolis called Crackers, and those were some of the best shows I ever had. I had such a good time in Indianapolis. In fact, one time, the club owner's name was Jim Schliebner, and he mm -hmm. said, you have to come in during race week. And I said, oh, that's, I can't wait. And he says, oh, we got tickets. We got seats on the start-finish line. And I said, oh, fantastic. That was the one year where the Indianapolis 500 got rained out. So I never got to see the race. Oh, man. Oh, bummer, well, uh, right? That is such a bummer because it is, it is something you need to do at least once. I may take you up on that because there's a buddy of mine, Larry Murphy, who's a Hockey Hall of Famer, and he's a big car guy, and he goes down to the 500 every year, and he does the tailgating and all that stuff, so maybe I'll come down with Larry. Yeah. Boy, if you could give him the, the experience that you get from the red carpet and that view right on the bricks, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, it would, it, it, it would make his whole life, and you would love it, too. See, Jonathan, see, we keep talking to these celebrities and they're going to be like, he's going to be like, Dave Cooley is going to be like, hey, KJ, Larry and I are in town. Let's go to the Indy 500 together. Okay. That okay. was a Dave Cooley name drop. Everybody. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My good buddy who is in a hall of fame somewhere. Right. <laughs> look, all I'm saying is. I look, I went look, I went to the track with you guys. You remember that you time did. we went to the you track did. for the thing? And now I don't have to go again. Okay. No, that didn't count. That did not. Yes, it did. I went for a race no, it and it was not. hot outside. And I met all of my goals on my watch. Thank you very much. So I count that as a great day. And I ate the hot dog. I got to go up in buildings that we didn't we weren't even supposed to go oh up gosh, in, man. Joe, we, like we kept running, we just kept well, I don't know what was going on with security, but we looked like we belonged everywhere and we did not. We just kept running into parties and celebrities mm -hmm. and things we weren't supposed to be doing. <laughs> It was great. Uh, Joe, have you ever been to the Indy 500? <laughs> I, oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm terrified to tell you that I have not, but I have it on good authority from the last five minutes that I totally should. <laughs> Let me know. Let me go with KJ. We'll, we'll hook you up, Joe. Give you the, Maybe we'll if I meet Dave Coulier, I'll get to be right at the start line. <laughs> I'll let you know if we if get Dave Coulier. Never lets me here, talk to Dave Coulier. <laughs> <laughs> you'll finally get to talk to him. Uh, all right. So the the rest of the interview with Dave Coulier is going up on the YouTube channel as it does uh, at nine o'clock. So mm -hmm. you you can uh, you can check that out. We have got our pet of the week. We've got tell me something good and uh, uh, Joe. The <laughs> you have to if you're going to hang around for the pet of the week. I need okay. you to. You gotta be nice. You gotta need you to pretend to like cats for a little bit, or at least give Sprinkles a chance. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> never that thought a... I'd never thought I'd be told I needed to give Sprinkles a chance. <laughs> All I am uh... saying is give Sprinkles a chance. Sprinkles the cat, not Sprinkles the food. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> right, if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all uh we joe said how do i leave at this we point? wrap up the show so this is what we do joe like if like let's say you you wasted a whole hour hour of your life like you just did with us and you're like i got <laughs> nothing out of this you're but at wrong. least at least at the end i got to see a cute pet and i got some good news so that's what we do so every day, every day should end with a cute pet and good news. So. Oh, yes. 
yes, yes. So, oh, we should do the good news first and then the pet, right, Jada? That's how it goes on the roadmap. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like looking at the roadmap and you're like, pet of the week. I'm like, we didn't do tell me something good. All right. It's time for tell me something. What, did we skip patches? Yeah, because he's not going to do it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Take two. Here we go. Patches, are you ready? Yes. I don't even know if Is he said. here? I don't know. Patches, I... are you muted? Did you mute yes. yourself? No, I am not muted. I promise. I can't tell the difference between patches and Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Go, not go, don't go, even go, ever, go. ever, ever, ever say go. that. There there I'm crying. There we go. It's time for Tell Me Something Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank Question you. mark? All right, now it's Joe's turn. <laughs> Joe, you take it away. Tell me something good. Ooh. That was beautiful. Thank you. 10 out of 10. <laughs> right. Highly recommend. Uh, put some good news in the comments. Marianne said, wanted to share a pic of my daughter with your recent guest, Sven Gooley. He thought her costume was so good, he posed with her and even signed. I didn't even see what this Even chicken. signed her chicken. Oh, her rubber chicken. Oh, that's awesome. Love Spangooly. Uh, all right, let's see. Natalie says, my memoir was number one on Amazon and Military Families. I'm over the moon. We got a writer. Congratulations, Natalie. Yes. That is amazing. <laughs> uh, Jonna, someday it'll be you. And Next year, hopefully. Michelle says, my dad's cancer was cured with chemo and radiation. Mm -hmm. Hashtag happy dance. Hashtag cancer sucks. That is great news, Michelle. Best news. All right. Great news, right, Joe? You got any good news over there? Uh, I yeah, there's I get tons of good news. I hear good news all the time. Uh, Do you have? It's, been, it's been a it's been a mild winter for most folks so far. You know what I mean? It's been... <laughs> I know what you mean, man. <laughs> do, you need some, do you need some help seeing the good in life, Joe? Are you Joe the weatherman <laughs> over here? <laughs> I don't know. Did you eat a taco? I actually just, I actually what? just, I just shared. Um, so in the audio attic, we have a sort of, we have a private discord server and it's a place for the community to, to chat and celebrate. And I just shared some gratitude. Um, I wrote a book about a, a little over a year ago and uh, this community has been so supportive of the work that I do and the things that I'm creating and trying to sort of put out into the world that I have sold more copies of my book this last month than I sold the week that I released the book. Oh my gosh. Like, it's it's so like, good. congrats, man. That's awesome. And just like the, I don't know, the power of like the storytelling form that like once you create it it exists i joked with the audio addict when i made the book i said i made people <laughs> like this is like you know you like create this whole thing just from your imagination and um the idea that i meet people now who are getting that story for the first time and then enjoy it uh, it's really really gratifying and it's incredible to uh see that and so i celebrated that just before i joined you all tonight. oh that's great what's the book called again uh it's called the chameleon effect uh, and it is about a, a, an actor in Los Angeles who can't catch a break. And so he decides that he's going to pretend to be Irish because all the great roles are going to all the British actors and all these folks from overseas. So he pretends to be Irish and uh, his career takes off like a juggernaut. And of course, he meets a woman on set and that woman he starts to fall for. But of course, she thinks that he's from Dublin, uh, not Cincinnati, Ohio, which is actually where he's from. So, uh so that is the start. That's the plot of The Chameleon Effect. A secret it's identity a romance from the man with a secret identity. Are we going to do book club with this book, Jonathan? I already read it. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I listened to it. Also, like, if you're going to read the book, I would say listen to it because Joe <clears throat> narrates it. Um, I don't have, like, a physical copy of the book, but, like, mm -hmm. I would buy I mean, I'd read it again. I, this would be the one. Shelly, I know you're watching, Shelly, okay? And Shelly's going to say something Shelley about me rereading a book. Yeah. <laughs> I would reread this book for Joe. <laughs> That's amazing, Joe, because she does not reread books. So she would do this for you. That's very sweet. So that's my gratitude. That's my something good. Thank you for letting I love me share. That. So Joe, you know, I mean, we all know your, you know, your voice, but when you, you know, got started, was it, was it a goal to, to write and you fell into the audio stuff or how did that happen? Um, <clears throat> no, I, the, this is this entire career everywhere that I am right now in my life feels to me like a celebration of the fact that you never know 
what happens in your life that may transform your future in some way. And for the first time in my life as an artist and a creator, I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And if you'd asked me what I wanted or where I wanted to be 10 years ago, I wouldn't have even known to think about this because I didn't know that this, what I am now, even existed. So, um, I love... Look, now you see, okay, (laughs) now you understand, right? Like, you're actually listening to him say things and you're like... Like you get it now, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you get it. Oh no, right. no okay. I totally get you it. You get it. Okay. No, that I mean, that's what I mean. That's why I, you know, we do this goofy uh, show once a month, but out, outside of the show, I'm a, you know, KJ, a this is a family color. friendly show. Let's watch your potty mouth if you could. Sorry, sorry, for the folks that are tuning in. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, that's my my passion is encouraging people to share their story and chase their dream, and you know, and hearing you talk about how this came about sometimes. Sometimes it's just it's just loving what you do to get to the point of doing things that you didn't know that you were actually going to love. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. So yay, congratulations, Joe. Yeah. Thank you. And yay. I get to tell love stories every day. And I get to tell uh, other people's stories and use some gifts that I've uh, honed and practiced and worked on for a while. And um, and in the pursuit of all that, I got an idea that I was like, I think I could write one of these. And uh Instead of thinking about it, I started to just sort of carve out the time to do it. And now I have. And I'm working on a second one that will come out. uh, So right now, it will come out sometime next year. The problem is I tell a lot of other people's stories. So Mm -hmm. carving out the time to make sure that I'm writing and working on mine is also a little challenging. But I'm doing it. So. Well, we're we're so excited that we I'm got so to spend this time with you tonight, <laughs> Joe. And John is just gonna cry now. I'm just like... gonna, I like Joe. Like the last time I told you, I'm just gonna go cry myself to sleep <laughs> when I get home. That, like, Joe, do you want to leave before we feature sprinkles? You that's, don't have to stay. <laughs> that's very kind of you. I, I am I'm so grateful that you had me. Um, and I'm I've been. It's just been a joy to spend this time with you. I really do appreciate and celebrate. Um, the space and the energy that you all are creating again, this idea of like celebrating community and positivity um, and the things that you love and the things that you sort of derive joy from. It's been a pleasure to be with you. This has not in any way, shape or form been a wasted hour of my life because it has been filled with authentic people celebrating love. And that is my jam. All right, keep it together, girls. Keep okay. it together. Patches, you're in charge of the show. Uh, you're crying. Uh, you are welcome back anytime, Joe. And any any time that we can, you know, use our little community to support and 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 lift you up and share when the the, the next book is coming out. Anything that uh, we could ever do, please reach out and let us know. Okay. Thank you very much. I will do that. All right, everybody. Joe Arden. Love you. Bye. We love you, Joe. Goodbye. And now he doesn't have to sit there and be uncomfortable about sprinkles. About sprinkles. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you guys. We have our 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 end credits are our legendary, and they've got lots of cats tonight. (laughs) Yes. So don't leave just because Joe left, because you're gonna want to see the pet of the week. Uh, Jada, uh, Jada has uh, handpicked our pet of the week this week. It handpicked does, does happen to be a cat. Sometimes yes. it's dogs. Sometimes it's uh, chickens. We've had uh, sugar gliders. I mean, we've had everything. we had a horse once, like we a tent, a mini horse, mini horse. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go, my friends. Our pet of the week is Sprinkles. Wait a kitty. Sprinkles well, is seventeen years old. Oh guys. my goodness! Look at her beautiful Sprinkles. Uh, she her nicknames are Little Boots and Turtle Pie. She has a permanent cold, so she's always sneezing, but they've never figured out why, but she's fine. Uh, One of her favorite things to do is beat up the other cats, even though she is a lot littler than them. And she also loves shredded cheese. (laughs) Sounds like some other cats I know. Right? (laughs) Yeah, get it, girl. (laughs) She would love it at our house. Uh, She plays music by running her paws up and down the heat vents sometimes. (laughs) Sounds stressful. <laughs> and at 17 years old, she is still playful and she is adorable. Thank you very much, Rebecca, for sharing sprinkles with us tonight. 
I am KJ. This has been the KJ Today Show. We are live the first Wednesday of every month. We bring you celebrity interviews. Uh, Jada's book club is amazing. She's always talking to cool authors. And like Jordan. Like Joe Arden. <laughs> so if you subscribe to our channel, our goal is always to bring you the positivity of pop culture, people to know, and pets. And uh, we appreciate you being a part of our family now and our community. If you didn't get a crew number while you were watching tonight, please go to kjcrew.com. You'll get the Positive Vibes newsletter that'll keep you up on everything that we're doing. And you'll also get that number so that maybe we'll draw you to play for prizes with our Don't Screw the Crew trivia. Thank you, Heather. She says, thank you for having us. Uh, Robin, thank you for being here. It was our pleasure to have Joe. Tiffany, you all seem so wonderful. Oh my gosh. Thanks for being here, Audio Attic. We love you guys so much. We do. We thank do. You. Thank you for welcoming us into your audio attic. This has been amazing. Uh, we're going to go live on Facebook. Patches, if you can put up where they can find our Facebook page. Uh, we're going to go live. The official after party is What's Cooking with Patches and the Cats. So you can see our cats. You can get a cute little uh, uh, glimpse of what goes on after the show and a cute little glimpse of Patches in the kitchen because he's so cute. Uh, go to Facebook.com. Did you just call me cute? KJ on the air. Oh, I have something to say. You are cute. Yes, go ahead, John. Um, uh, yeah. uh, Heather said that she registered for a crew number but didn't get it. Um, So me and KJ have to, well, KJ has to assign them and then she sends me the list and then I email you. So it might be a couple of days before you yes. get an email with your crew number. So as long as you signed up, you're going to get an, an email from us within the week before we do any more prize giveaways. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll say, welcome to the crew. Here's your official number. So save that email. And then at some point you might get an email from us. It's like, hey, we drew your number today. And so we're playing for prizes for you tonight. Uh, thank you. I just saw a comment. Uh, Sir Dave says you are cute patches. Uh, mm -hmm. and I, and I just saw a comment that said, uh, definitely watch what's cooking with patches and the cats it's, because it's so fun. It's really just KJ running around looking at the cats and me and patches talking, uh, smack about her. It, is. Back. it really Pretty is. Much. All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready? For, for the, those end credits. For the famous end credits. I built them up so much. Featuring our new kitties, Buffy and Giles. Here we go. The best part of the show. The end. <laughs>